I'm Katie and welcome to the NTU podcast. Today we're going to be talking about all things results day and clearing. A really exciting but sometimes nervous topic that we're going to get through today with our amazing panel. So if you guys wouldn't mind introducing yourself, Tibor, I'll go to you first. Hello Katie, my name is Tibor. I am an admissions associate and I am here today as the clearing expert who will answer all your questions. Amazing clearing expert, that is why you're here. I need to be educated and fulfilled with the clearing knowledge and I'm looking forward to it. Naomi, welcome to the podcast if you won't mind introducing yourself today. Hi Katie, my name is Naomi. I am a first year architecture student and I'm excited to share my results day experience. Amazing, thank you both so much for joining me today. So just for a little background, my name is Katie. I work in the marketing team at NTU. I did go to NTU but graduated five years ago now. So that means I applied more years ago than that. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. So I'm excited to you know, get a new updated knowledge today and also hear about your experience which was literally last year won't it so really recent for you so amazing thanks both so much for being here today so results day is the point where students find out the grades that they got from their a level and btech examinations and also find out whether they got into their university firm or insurance choice or if they didn't apply at all whether they can apply on that stage through clearing it, as you say. So yes, Katie, you're absolutely right. So on results day, in a nutshell, you wake up in the morning and then you check the status <clears throat> of your application. Uh, and after that, uh, you are going to get your results from your school. Uh, you should have already found out from your school whether they are going to email you the results or you need to go and pick them up personally. But it's really important to have your results because UCAS is not going to tell you the results plus your university is not going to share them with you either. Yeah, okay, so there's like two things to do on results day morning. So a bit of a, you know, a nerve wracking thing you might say to be waking up on that results day morning to find out whether A, you got into the university of your choice and what grades you've got. Can you remember the lead up to your um, results day, Naomi, kind of how you felt about it? Or, and it was about a year ago now, so you've <laughs> like, slept since then, but can you sort of remember how you felt a little bit? Um, I can remember because I knew that I wasn't going to get into the uni that I wanted to go to because I already had a feeling that one of my subjects was going to mess me up. So I was just mentally preparing myself just to see what I actually got. But all in all, I felt it was okay because everything worked out in the end. But still, it was a little bit nervous, um, nerve wracking and scary at the same time. Yeah, and it's, it's a long build up of a year doing your, when you're doing your year 13, sort of preparing for university. It can be a long time, like say, waking up this day, but it's also an exciting thing. You know, it's looking forward to that next chapter of your life, um, doing it that way. So, Tibor, just going back a little bit to UCAS. So, to log in on the day, what are students going to need in preparation beforehand? Do they have to set up an account? I'm not really too sure. So, just like before results day, yeah. you will need to use your login name and your password, and then you are going to check the outcome of your application. And uh, that's all you need, really. Okay. So it'll be right there on the screen saying, does it say your place is confirmed? Is that the right yeah, word? Yeah, so when you look at the outcome of the application, then uh, what you're going to see is that uh, the best case scenario when your place has been confirmed and your insurance university disappeared, or you're going to see something else where your place was rejected, unfortunately, because of the results. Okay, so it's all going to be, the UCAS hub is the place to be to find out. Amazing. So now we've learned a little bit more about results day and the prep ahead of time. I'd just love to ask you both some tips or maybe just, you know, general advice that you would give to students that are going to be getting, coming up to results day this year. Um, obviously, Naomi, you were in the same position last year. What was a bit of advice that you maybe wish you heard this time last year ahead of time? If you can give me maybe three things to do or three tips. Um, I would say the day before results day, eat because I was so I was so nervous. I wasn't thinking of anything else, literally just results day, results day. So I would say eat. I'd say sleep as well because I was up all night, me and my friends just waiting, just waiting, but sleep. Yeah. And also don't worry because everything will work out for itself. Like that's my biggest advice. Like do not worry at all. Oh, that's such good advice. And like you say about the sleep thing, because some people might think that the results will come out at midnight on the dot on the day but they don't really they can come in for any time in the morning so it's just making sure that you are not making yourself overtired and stressed before the morning or anything like that amazing great advice Naomi thank you Tibor same question to you three pieces of advice or tips that you can give to people ahead of results day well my top tip is to make sure that you make yourself available for the whole day 
because it's going to be a long day for everybody. Mm. And uh, even if things go well, you still need the full day to understand what's actually going to happen in the next couple of days, weeks and months. Uh, my second tip would be to make sure that you have pen and paper handy, because if you need to do some research, if you need to write down phone numbers, if you need to make a list of top three, five universities you want to contact, it's uh, always handy to have a little list. And uh, the third tip would be to make sure that you, you are not going to stress because you're not the only one who is going through this process on that day. And the uh, universities, we are all there to help you and support you. Uh, we want you to find a place you really want to do from September. We want to help you to succeed with this. And that's why there is no question too small. We will be there for you. Results day, red and green flags. I want to hear them. Naomi, okay. what is your results day slash clearing red and green flags? Um, My results day slash clearing red flag is that people think it's a negative thing. It's actually not. It's another chance for you to get a better uni or a different uni. And my green flag would be when the university has amazing social media. As a social media officer, I'm very glad to hear that, <laughs> Naomi. Thank you very much for shouting out our channels. Tibor, can I go to you? What are your red and green flags about results day and clearing? I would say my red flag is when the applicant uh, himself or herself is not making the phone call. It's somebody else on his or her behalf. And my green flag is when you call the clearing hotline with your results in your hand. So you have all the information we need, which will make the phone call very smooth. So we touched a little bit on clearing before with you, Tibor, when you were saying about the results day prep. So I just want to dive into that a little bit more and talk about clearing for people who might not be sure what clearing is, might not be sure what they need to do for it, and also kind of how NTU can help in that sort of process. So, Tibor, if I won't mind coming to you first, could you just give a bit of a synopsis of what... Oh, synopsis, that is a very big word for me today. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a synopsis about what clearing is and who it might be for and everything like that, if you wouldn't mind. I know it's a bit of a big question, it's like saying how long's a piece of string, but... <laughs> Yes, but it's a very, very common question as well. Uh, clearing is uh, pretty much for everybody who is not happy with the outcome of their application. So on results day, you find out what happened to your firm and insurance applications. And uh, if you don't get the grades, then you need to go through clearing to find a place elsewhere. And uh, if, you, if you have the grades, but then you are not happy with the course anymore because you've changed your mind, bearing in mind that you might have chosen that particular course eight, nine, ten months ago, so you could have changed your mind, which is absolutely fine, then you would need to go through clearing. And uh, clearing is, is a lengthy process, but there is always enough support for you. So usually, you know, when you try to plan your next couple of days, it might feel really overwhelming, but it's a very, very simple and straightforward process to find your university and find the course you want to do. Amazing. So. Does clearing start on results day? Is that when the clearing process really opens uh, up? If, if you are waiting for your results because your results haven't been published, then yes, for you, clearing starts on results day. If you are on a gap year, like many of you at the moment, and you have your results already confirmed last year, then you can actually contact the university before results day. So I wake up on results day and I have unexpectedly different to what I thought I was going to get. Let's say I got way higher. Let's just, let's be really positive about my fake experience. So what would I do? What would I ring you? Would I start the research first? How would you advise somebody to really approach that morning if they got unexpected results? So this happens quite often, actually, Katie, when somebody wakes up in the morning and they get better grades than expected, which means that they can now look at courses they couldn't or they were not advised by the sixth form or the college. Mm -hmm. And uh, the only way to find out whether they are available or they meet the entry criteria is to ring the university. And then uh, somebody, a clearing agent, will answer the phone and then they will check the entry criteria together. They will also check if the course is available and then everything will be explained step by step. So the first step is is a phone call. So even if I wasn't sure what course I wanted to do, but I knew I wanted to come, let's use for this purpose sake, Nottingham Trent University, could I just ring the number and be spoken through different courses available? Do I have to have one set thing in mind or how does that kind of work? 
Yes, absolutely. So you could ring the university and then you could explain uh, what subjects you did, what results you achieved, and then the clearing agent would explain what we could actually do for you, what courses are available. Certain courses require subject-specific grades. Yes, of And uh, because of that, we need to double-check that because everybody must have those grades. And uh, after that, basically, if you have the grades and you are interested in the course, then uh, you can reserve your place. Amazing. And that's for all methods, really. You reserve it as soon as you can. So, Naomi, as we've been talking about Results Day, if you wouldn't mind just sharing a little bit about your experience on how Results Day went for you and how you sort of went to become an NTU. Um, so, Katie, for my Results Day, it was a little bit, as I said, nerve-wracking as one would be. I got my results. I went into school. I already had the email, but I didn't want to check the email because I was like, I want to I want to open the paper. I want to open the paper. So I got it, and I was like, oh, okay. It was it was a little bit expected. I did A level art and um, fine arts, photography and maths. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> they are some subjects. They are some really big yeah, big subjects. I knew what I wanted to do. I knew the course I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to do architecture and when I was researching about the unis they said, Oh, do a maths or physics and art and anything else. So I just chose those three. It felt like a perfect mix. Um so I got my results. I was like, Oh, okay. I already watched a bunch of TikToks telling me what to do for um, results day. I had my pen, I had my paper, and I had um, a couple of unis that I wanted to call. But first I called the unis I already applied to to see, oh, do you have by any chance? But I didn't get a response. And um, a couple of weeks before results day, on my TikTok is just NTU, NTU, NTU. So I was like, I might as well, I might as well give you guys a try. And I called and the lady was super nice. I told her my grades, I told her what I wanted to do. And she's like, oh yeah, perfect. And then she um, transferred me to the architecture, head of architecture. We did like a little interview, basically saying, oh, tell me about yourself. Like, why do you want to do architecture? They sent me the email and I was like, oh, Literally. <laughs> and then all I had to do was just everything else, which was easy peasy. Yeah, the stuff after that. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. So even though, like you say, it kind of was an interview on the results day, it was really informal and yeah. relaxed and just helped you be really at ease with it. And mm-hmm. Oh, amazing. Well, that's really good. Can you remember kind of what time you contacted the university? Was it kind of first thing in the morning or was it, is it, was it on results day? It was on results oh, okay. day, yeah. It was around like... 11 12 in the afternoon so oh, nice. it was pretty quick i called a bunch of units before that that was like oh no but then i was like NTU. you they gave me a chance i did a little interview but it wasn't like anything serious it was like two three questions yeah and then i got the email and i was ready to go yeah i guess it's to like find out even just through the tone in the voice if you are an eager person that's ready to do architecture and especially if you selected your a levels based on wanting to do the mm-hmm. course they know that you've been thinking about it and yeah. wanting to do it so yeah so they'll be so grateful to have you on your course and i'm very glad that those other universities didn't pick up naomi <laughs> i'm very glad that you came to ntu oh well, that's amazing thanks so much for sharing your story there naomi what i think would be really helpful to our listeners watchers however you are obtaining this information is to do a kind of mock phone call as if I'm a student I've I've opened my results again we'll go back to the scenario I had before I've done better than expected and I'm looking to see what courses are on offer so T-Ball if I can put you on the spot and if I can fake phone you through this right then I'm going to pick up the phone you're going to pick up the phone and then we're going to have the the fake phone Mm -hmm. call okay okay. Hello, you are through to the Nottingham Trent University Clearing Hotline. My name is Tibor, how can I help you? Hi there, my name's Katie. I opened my results today and I managed to get an AAA and I would be interested to know what courses I could do around the fashion and business industry. They're the ones that I'm really interested in. Would you be able to just run through any courses that you have or let me know what I need to do? Uh, That's amazing, Katie. Congratulations. Yes, certainly. So I just need to take a couple of details from you okay? because I need to create this uh, on-screen form. And after that, I can help you with your course choice. So first of all, I need your personal details, such as your first name, surname, uh, email address, and uh, phone number. I have given you that information. Thank Thank you. you very much. If you're interested in something fashion where you do business as well for example we have fashion management we have fashion marketing and branding which is again some sort of business like fashion these sound amazing these and sound the exactly fashion communication for. and promotion uh, if you want me to check the entry criteria then please let me know which one you 
prefer and then I'm going to read it out for you. I would love to go for fashion management if that's okay. Right. That sounds exactly what I was into and similar to other courses that I applied for at other okay. universities. So, so I can see fashion management is available and uh, I can tell you that we are looking for uh, four qualifications where two of them have to be A-levels or equivalent qualifications. And altogether, we are looking for 96 UK Stylish points. For example, this is just an example. And have I? do I meet that? Yes. In this because, fake scenario? Because you have actually achieved more than Yay! what you expected. You, you, do, you do meet the criteria. So I can just uh, finalize the form, type up your address, phone number, uh, everything else we need, and then send you an email to confirm that this conversation took place and uh, that we have reserved a place for you. So that will be the next step. Amazing. I'm so excited to come to NTU. Thank you we so much, We are very much, happy Tibor. to have you. An email will be sent to your inbox very soon. And uh, yeah, please allow us uh, a few minutes and uh, instructions will be emailed to you. So thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Tibor. Have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. So thanks again, Tibor, for just doing that phone call with us. It just gives everyone a little bit more, you know, understanding of what it might be like on results day. So with the phone calls, obviously we have so many amazing um, call takers that will be on our city campus on results day there to help. However, we do offer a special priority access. So what that means is that students can call in a specific number and sort of get ahead of the maybe rush that we might have on results day. So this is called NTU priority. So if you're, as you mentioned, you was a little bit nervous about results day, you weren't really too sure how you go and you just want to give yourself a little bit of reassurance, students can actually sign up to NTU priority now. Now, I don't know if you two are aware of that. I knew about priority, like with clearing phone calls, but I didn't know NTU specifically did that. Otherwise I would have been first in line and got in my space quicker. Well, but. let me tell you all about NTU Priority, Naomi. Let me tell you all about it. So as I mentioned, you get skip the queue access. You don't have to wait in line for when you're ringing in on results day. There might be a, you know, a few calls in the queue. You get straight through to an advisor to help and advise with anything that you want to know. We also have a one-to-one -one chat service for everybody that gets signed up to NTU Priority, where you can speak to all of our advisors, you know, straight away through this specific service to ask any questions, anything about the university, Day, and maybe just some general tips and advice before the, the results day itself. With signing up to NTU Priority, you also gain access to regular email updates. So maybe if there's any changes into the, you know, how results day is going to work, the specific timings of it, maybe even it's if it's just the number or specific courses, you will get that information straight to your email address when you sign up to NTU Priority. Another great part of NTU Priority is if that you already have a really strong idea that you want to come to Nottingham Trent University, you can actually reserve a place pre clearing and pre-results day so that if it comes around to results day and you still want to you know come to NTU through clearing that space is already reserved for you which is just such a you know relief takes the pressure off or anything like that you can do it ahead of time and yeah NTU priority is open to anybody who is interested and you can find out more on our website. Tibor we're going to play a quick game of true or false all about clearing are you ready? I can't wait. You seem you, you seem ready. Absolutely. Okay, so the first question, if you go through clearing, it means you'll struggle to get accommodation at NTU. So this is false because we guarantee accommodation to everybody who comes through clearing, so no stress whatsoever. We do. It's an amazing offer. Takes that pressure off people. There will be accommodation here for you, NTU. Amazing. So the second one, NTU priority is a way to gain skip the call access on results day. Yes, this is true because this is one of the perks of NTU priority. Whatever your results on results day, clearing is for everybody. Yes, this is true. If you want to go through clearing, then we are here for you. Amazing. Thank you. You got three out of three. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. So we've spoken a little bit about when people call on results day, how that phone call will look. But then really it's about where you want to accept the offer for, like what goes into making that decision of where you actually want to start university in September. So what would your advice be to somebody who's called up clearing some universities on clearing results day, got a few offers from different places and now just isn't too sure where they want to apply to? What would be your advice to somebody who comes to you with that question? So my advice would be to do a little research before you accept the offer. It's, it's a big decision. Uh, you are going to spend the next uh, three, four, maybe even five years at that university. And uh, what I would do is to double check things like how easy 
it is to get there, uh, how expensive accommodation is. Yeah. Uh, you can also check uh, what a student experience rating mm -hmm. there is. Uh, Nottingham is a student city. This city is empty without students. And this is the best student experience city you can have for yourself. That's my, my personal advice. So look at how far it is, look at how expensive it is, and look at the city vibe as well that comes with it. Great advice. Thanks, Tibor. So Naomi, obviously, that advice that Tibor's just given, you had to take yeah. in for yourself last year and have to have a think about it. So what was it for you that once you got that offer from men to you were like, I'm going there, that's the <laughs> place for me? Because um, I live in Birmingham, I was like, I wanted to be far away, but not too far. And NTU to Birmingham is like a good enough distance yeah. for me. Because like, I don't want to be too close home, but then I don't want to be too far. So I was like, okay, that's a check for me. Um, also, I was researching on the course modules and like the different like helps and like course leaders and ev literally everything any videos I can find on TikTok about architecture and the university I was just like okay this is good this is good actually when I got my place confirmed um the like student mentors for architecture were calling up first years like oh hi just calling if you have any questions I was like oh what laptop do you need like what do I need to buy what everything so they just call you like a couple of weeks before you moved in just to see if you had any questions about the course which was nice oh that's really nice yeah. oh how helpful it was because I was like what laptop do I need to get it was like actually you don't actually need to know within the first couple of months that you can get it just before December and you'll be fine because I didn't have a laptop for architecture and it was important. Mm. But he assured me, was like, it's okay. You could use the libraries, you can use the one literally anywhere else, but you don't need like a personal one just in the like, first month of uni, yeah. which was nice. And he, I was like, what do I need to buy for architecture? He was like, oh, you're gonna get sent an email list of what you need. Oh, that's really helpful then. Just gives you that like, little reassurance before coming here, especially if you hadn't had a chance to come see the campus mm -hmm. before. Oh, amazing. Yeah. So it was fine for you to find accommodation? Um, when I was looking for accommodation, I had a price range and then I was looking at a lot of university, like a lot of accommodations. I was just looking at the pictures that was on the web, um, on the website, they had the 360 view. I was looking at it. I was looking at if it was ensuite, how many people I'll be living with. And it was, it was actually a smooth. It was a smooth process. Like, yeah, yeah, it was a smooth find process, to, yeah. yeah. So we've just spoken a lot about, you know, how to make your decision and things like that. I think what's really important to know is that it's you that has to make your decision. It's you that has to be here for the next, as you say, up to five years. So, you know, it's not about maybe what your parents think or your friends are doing. You know, you need to really make that decision for yourself. And it is actually only the applicant that can call up and make the decision on results day. Is that right, Tibor? Yes, Katie, you're absolutely right. Uh, long story short, you have to make the phone call because yeah. this is your decision and this is your future. And uh, a clearing agent can only talk to you and advise you on the phone. Uh, parents cannot actually secure places on your behalf, uh, but they need to understand that this is really your priority. And uh, you will be fine because having said that is all the support you need. Uh, so don't hesitate and lift up the phone yourself. All of our clearing agents are very experienced at taking these phone calls. Uh, they take hundreds of phone calls on busy clearing days. And if you are stressing about something, if you're nervous about something, then just please let us help you. We are here to help you. Amazing. And even if it's pre-results day, can people get in contact with you if you're just feeling a little bit nervous, a little bit anxious, and we can give them information before? Yes, absolutely. So you can call us anytime you want and uh, we are here to explain you what's about to happen and uh, we are here to help you through the whole journey. Amazing. Naomi, you mentioned a little bit about when you had your results day, about how you got accommodation and things like that. If you won't mind just giving a bit of an overview, what actually happened from the results day to you starting in the September? Did you have to sort out anything with accommodation, with student finance? Like, What did that all look like? Um, once I got my place confirmed, I actually have to accept it on UCAS. Okay, nice. And then, then from there on, I got everything sorted. And then my student finance as well. I had to let student finance know that I wasn't going to the uni I put there. I was going to Nottingham Trent. And then they had to wait till the uni actually confirmed my ah, place right, as okay. well. And then I had to wait till the end of September-ish to get the money start coming in every three months. And then I got started on my uni shopping and like accommodations, trying to find my um, flatmates, course mates, all on Facebook and TikTok, scavenging around on tic um, Instagram, just trying to find anybody. Honestly, from 
when you accept your place on NTU, it's just happiness from there on out. You literally have nothing else to worry about because everything just starts working out each next to each other. Amazing. So the main things you said is make sure you've told student finance that you've changed your course, otherwise yes. you might not get your money in time, to ensure you pitch your accommodation and make sure mm-hmm. everything about it and start looking for people. Is there anything else that the students need to give to NTU after they have got their place for clearing before they start in the September? Yes, so when you make the phone call, then uh, basically you reserve a place and everything you tell us on the phone, uh, we take your word for it and then we register that on our system. So grades, but then, uh, everything exactly, like that. Yeah, okay. But after that, uh, you would need to send us evidence of your final results. So this is really important to make sure that you send us final results because they are the official results. And this is what you get on Results Day. And uh, I'm sure you remember I mentioned that on Results Day, you need to make sure that you get your results from your sixth form or college. So Naomi, why should NTU be the university that students call on Results Day? Um, NTU should be the uni that students call on results day because through the videos and TikToks that I've been seeing, it was it was given a lot of energy. Like, you know, some unis just like, oh, like what's going on? But NTU, there was a lot of energy, a lot of vibrancy, just a lot of happiness, a lot of good community. And like, <laughs> since being here for like one year, it's been fun. You can never get bored at NTU. Like, generally you can never be bored and it's just so much fun my course is great everything's just so much fun and that's it we've come to the end of the NTU podcast episode all about results day and clearing I mean I've definitely learned something today it's been really eye-opening to see kind of how the results day process works and Naomi it's been great to hear about your story and kind of how you came to NTU and we're so glad (laughs) that you made that decision so yeah thank you both so much for joining me today and I will see you next time on the NTU podcast Bye. Bye. Bye.